Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, we'll be showing you Monopoly Go, the ultimate guide. So, we have a lot of topics here to discuss, so let's start with how to download, install, and play Monopoly Go on laptop or PC. So first thing that we want to do here is we first have to install the application that we'll be using to install Monopoly Go. So we'll be using a third party software for this one. So go ahead and open up any browser and go to google.com. Now in Google, you want to type in the following, which is going to be blue stacks. And here, just search for it and you'll see the first link here for it is for blue stacks. So it's going to be www.bluestacks.com. So go ahead and go to that website. And from here, what you need to do is you just need to start downloading blue stacks and install it into your PC. So this one is really, really easy. Just follow the steps and you'll be easily installing blue stacks in your PC. But once you've done that, the next thing you want to do here is you want to access BlueStacks. So since I already installed BlueStacks into my PC, I already have it prepared on my PC. So how do you actually install and play Monopoly Go here? As you can see, I already have Monopoly Go here, but I'll be showing you where to get it. Now in here, you want to go ahead and go to System Apps. Go ahead and open this one and you want to go to Play Store. Now, in this case, if you haven't logged in into your account, which is uh, probably the case here, you want to log in into your Google account first since I've already logged in. Let's just search for Monopoly Go here. Now, from here, once you search Monopoly Go, just like in your mobile device, you could go ahead and just click on install and you'll be able to install Monopoly Go in your PC. But once you've done that, it should appear here on the main menu of your BlueStacks screen. But for you to go back to the main home screen, just click on the home button that you see at the top left of your screen. And as you can see, this is Monopoly Go. Now, whenever we click on Monopoly Go here, it's going to start booting up Monopoly Go. As you can see, it's starting to boot up. And once it boots up, you will be able to start playing Monopoly Go in your PC without any mobile devices. And that's about it how to play monopoly go so best strategies and tricks and hacks in this case you might be new to a uh, monopoly go here and you're wondering what is the best way for you to actually play the game well playing the game does not necessarily stick to one strategy so there the strategy or the means of playing the game itself depends on how you want to basically play now in this case for you to start playing monopoly go usually you'll have to utilize dice now, dice is very and a very very important resource in Monopoly Go. So through dice, you'll be able you'll be able to make rolls, or you'll be able to uh, get rewards, or even uh, lose <laughs> significant value or a significant money on your account. So the money that we earn here is actually being used to build our empire. So it's typically at the bottom left here, this is where you will be able to uh, basically build or increase or uh, create your own, um, like for example, I want to uh, create my building here, I want to increase the value for it, this is how you actually do it. So for you to earn money, you usually need to basically spend dices, which in this case, once you actually uh, land on one of the tiles that you see here on your board, you'll be able to get a specific reward. Now, in this case, uh, how do you properly utilize dices here? Because again, dices are the very important resource here in Monopoly Go. Well, utilizing dices here is kind of tricky. Now, in this case, uh, dice rolls here actually has or have uh, multipliers on it. So, no, multipliers are a means to increase your chances or basically multiply from the name itself, multiply the value that you get from one roll. Like for example, my uh, multiply here right now is times 20, but if you're pretty new, it's going to be by default times one. Now, by the way, if you don't know where the multiplier it uh, is, it's usually at the top right of the go button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. Now, in this case, by default, it's going to be times one, but you can change this to times two or even times three, times five, times 10, times 20, and even for some users that has a lot of dice, they could even change this to times 100, which is something pretty cool. Now, in this case, how do you properly utilize this one? Well, in this case, utilizing your dice here is, again, really important. Now, it depends on the number of dice that you have on your account here. As you can see, the maximum value that we get or the maximum amount of dice on our account that we could get on a daily basis is going to be 40. 
Now, in this case, on some events or in certain uh, rewards, you could get more dices. That's why, as you can see right now, I have over 900 dices that I, that, that I could basically spend on playing the game itself. Now, so in this case, uh, again, how would we utilize or properly utilize this one? Now, the best trick for you to utilize dices here is to basically know where your current amount of dices is currently at. Like for example, if you have a very few amount of dices, it is a great idea to basically decrease your multiplier here. Like for example, you only have like 100, um, 100 dices or you only have like 200, 100 dices. It is a great idea to decrease the multiplier for it. So in this case, make sure to remove the times 20 multiplier. So maybe for example, if you still want to use a multiplier here, you could even get or maybe, maybe use times 2, times 3 or uh, the basic one, which is times 1. Now in this case, why? Well, in this case, if you increase your multiplier here, yes, we are increasing our chances or it's going to also increase your, uh, basically it's going to increase the rewards that you get. But it also increases the risk that you take on your dice rolls. I mean, in this case, you will get or you will lose more if you actually spend a lot of dices here. So unless you have a lot of dices here, it is a great idea to minimize or decrease the multiplier that you're using on your account. Now, if you have like 1,000, 10,000 dices here, it's great that you use the multiplier here, like times 50 or times 100, whatever way you want here. And from then on, you should be able to start earning or basically get more out of your dices here. Again, if you have a small amount of dices or if you have a, a like a very small amount of dices, make sure to decrease your multiplier. And if you have a lot of dices here, make sure to increase the multiplier to increase your chances of actually earning or um progressing into Monopoly Go. Now, also, uh, it is recommended that you participate in events. So what are events? So at the very top of your screen here, you have like, for example, endless bargain, endless deal, and they also have the specific icons here for certain events. Now, events is a great way for you to basically start earning specific uh, prices. Now, the price itself would depend on the event itself. So in this case, at the bottom center, you should be able to see the conditions for you to start, uh, basically start earning or basically gaining or progressing in the game itself. So as you can see, uh, for this one, you need to actually get a shutdown or a mega heist. And from here, if you get like a block or a success, you should be able to get like, for example, that specific icon or that specific currency for that event. And once you get like, for example, in this case, if you get five of those, you'll be able to unlock the price for that specific uh, milestone in that event. Now, in this case, you, just, you for you to actually participate on that, you just need to roll your dice here. And typically, again, if you land on one of the trains, uh, train icon here or blocks, you should be able to start earning specific uh, icons or specific uh, tokens on that specific event. But yeah, so another thing that you need to uh, utilize here is basically rolling high on events. Now, this is kind of risky, but again, on events, uh, you are likely to gain more or basically make sure to utilize events here. Like you, uh, events are a great way for you to earn dices or gain more points or progress more in uh, Monopoly Go. So that's why if there, are, if there are any events, make sure to participate and read the rules and the conditions for you to actually uh, get more points on the event itself. Also, another way for you to, or another thing you need to utilize here are going to be vaults and community chests. Now, vaults is usually at the very bottom right here, which in this case is going to be album. And at the bottom right of your album, you should be able to see vault. In this case, the vault section here actually stores your duplicate um, stickers. So in this case, if you have duplicate sticker, stickers, you should be able to start earning a specific type of reward. So for example, you uh, for example this one, if you have like 250 uh, stars or 250 duplicates, which in this case, you should be able to unlock this specific vault here, which contains around 170 to 30 dices or dice rolls here, and also a minimum of three star um, stickers. On this case, this is a great way for you to earn more dices, which in turn, you will be able to start using it again on a specific uh, events or in specific uh, playthroughs. Now, in this case, Community Chess is going to be at the very center bottom uh, or very center of your board here. As you can see, this is going to be the Community Chess. Now, how do you unlock this? So you, typically, it's going to be 
locked so you just need to invite friends to join you on playing monopoly go and once they actually accept you should be able to utilize committee chess here so typically you just need to click on open here but again if you don't have committee chess yet you might need to actually invite people first and they need to accept that this case as you can see i'm playing my committee chess here so in this case this is a great for you to earn additional uh, things or prizes on your account as well as gifting or giving back to your friends since they actually accepted your request to you uh, play with them on Monopoly Go. But yeah. Also, another thing that you need to utilize here is going to be the Quick Wins section. So Quick Wins is going to be a, a mission type of tool or a mission type of um, daily event. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and complete this first and let's go ahead and go back to our main board. But again, in committee chess here, you should be able to start earning, as you can see, your friends open the tr uh, trendy restaurant to your CD. And again, I I'm able to earn a specific amount here for that. Now again, uh, quick wins is going to be at the bottom left of your screen. So if you click on it, you have the option to claim specific prices if you meet specific conditions. Like for example, I have like an animation here that says upgrade to landmarks. So in this case, let's go and go back in here. Let's go to build here. Maybe I want to in uh, basically unlock or uh, this case, I want to improve that. So let's just increase our, our value or our multiplier here so that we'll be able to get more cash in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back to build here. And from here, let's go ahead and expand this one. And when we actually go back into our quick wins, as you can see, it's now completed. So it's a good way for you to start earning more. So as you can see, I'm able to earn a specific uh, cash here. So in this case, uh, you could go and just claim them every day to uh, basically increase or just make use of it. Because in this case, it's actually a pretty cool thing that they add here for you to uh, gain more or earn cash or even dices on certain cases. Like for example, at the very bottom here, you have seven days to actually do all the quick wins here. And once you actually complete all of them, you'll be able to get the uh, final prize here is going to be a five star sticker, which is something really cool that you get on your account here. How to add friends on Monopoly Go with user ID. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to Monopoly Go. In this case, let's go ahead and open up Monopoly Go here. And once in Monopoly Go, so typically for you to view your user ID is we usually we need to go to tree bar icon at the top right of your screen and go into settings. Now underneath the or above the connect account section and underneath the account deletion section, you should be able to see your user ID. So user IDs are actually unique. So per user, they actually have their own user ID. Now in this case, how do you actually add someone via their user ID? So right now, there are multiple ways for you to invite someone to play Monopoly Go. So in this case, whenever you go to the friend section here, you should be able to see the contact and invite button. Now in this case, once you click on invite, you should be able to either invite them via the link option, which in this case, you should be able to choose whatever app here that you want to invite them and you'll be sending a link from Monopoly Go for them to start playing the game itself. Now, if you've connected your Facebook account, you could actually directly invite them via Messenger if you click on that invite button on the Facebook option. Now, the other option for you to invite someone is via the add friend section, which in this case, in this section, you should be able to send invites and add friends, or even though you're not uh, necessarily on a uh, direct uh, direct friend or you're not directly friends on Facebook, you could still invite someone here on the add friend section. Now you might be wondering where is the uh, option for you to add someone via a user ID? Well, currently with how Monopoly Go is currently set up, those are or the details or the steps that I've shown before are the only ways for you to actually add someone on Monopoly Go. So currently the option to use a user ID to add someone in Monopoly Go is not yet implemented and does not exist yet in Monopoly Go, which is something really unfortunate. But in this case, they still provide you multiple ways to actually add friends into your account. But in this case, uh, that's how you actually add friends in Monopoly Go here. And we don't want to spread misinform misinformation out there saying that you could actually do or you could actually add friends via user ID. But that's about it. How to invite friends in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. 
So in this case, if you want to play with your friends on Monopoly Go, I would suggest you to create an account on Monopoly Go. So with Monopoly Go, you could actually connect your Facebook account with Monopoly Go. So just click on the play, connect your account in Facebook and you'll be able to play as your Facebook account. Now, as you can see uh, in Monopoly Go, when I click on the tree bar icon at the top right, you'll be able to see that I've just successfully connected my account. So in this case, if you want to start playing with your uh, friends on Monopoly Go, just click on the friends button that you see at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, the first screen that you should see is the add friends section. So if your friends added you here, you'll see in this section here, just click on accept and you'll be able to accept them as a friend on Monopoly Go. Now in here, if you don't see your friend and you want to invite them to play Monopoly Go, just click on the invite button that you see at the bottom of your screen. And from here, you need to choose the two options here. So you can either invite by a link or via Facebook. So if you want to invite them via Facebook, just click on the Facebook option. And from here, it's going to open up Messenger. And from here, you could choose the friend that you want to send the invite to. So in this case, let's just choose this friend here. And that would actually automatically send that specific link to them. So once they accepted the, the, the specific link here, you could actually start seeing them here in the leaderboard section. So if that you're already friends with them, you should be able to see them in this section here. And from there, you'll be able to start playing with them. And that's about it. How to send a link and Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now in here, Usually when we want to send links in Monopoly Go, we want to access our friends list first. So I would suggest you to actually log in with your Facebook account first here so that things will be a lot more easier for you. So in here, let's go ahead and go to our friend section, which is located at the bottom right of your screen. Now, once you click on that one, you should be able to see this screen here that says add friends, timeline and leaderboard. So if people actually added you in Monopoly Go, you could go ahead and accept that. But if you want to send a link or invite someone outside of Monopoly Go, you just need to click on the invite button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. Now from here, you have two options. You either click the invite button that is for a link for different applications or the Facebook invite here since Monopoly Go integrates Facebook into your account. Now, if you choose a Facebook invite here, you'll be redirected into Messenger. And from there, you could just basically tap on the send button that you see there. And from there, you should be able to send a link to Monopoly Go or from Monopoly Go to your friends. Now, if you choose the option for invite only at the top of the invite for Facebook, you'll see this option pop up on your screen. Now, in here, you could send a link on different platforms that includes uh, uh, face uh, sorry instagram messenger or snapchat whatsapp and you also have chrome here and x which is a message or x post we also have wechat uh google save products for signal and all of other stuff here you could even send it on discord if you want to but yeah, so whatever method that you want to choose here, for example, you want to choose Discord, it's going to open up Discord, and from there, you could choose the friend that you want to send a link on or for. But yeah, so that's how you send a link in Monopoly Go. You have to change Monopoly Go profile picture. So there's actually two ways for you to change your Monopoly Go profile picture. I'll be showing you how to change this as a guest as well as a account that is connected to your Facebook. Now in here, let's go ahead and open up our Monopoly Go. And from here, if you're using a guest account, you just need to go to the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, you should see your picture at the top right. And when you click on that, you have the option to change your profile picture that they already have or you will actually be given you an option to change. So in this case, they have a pig, a cat, and a dog and different kind of cute pictures here that you could use. Now, if your account is connected like what I have right now since I'm using my Facebook account to play Monopoly Go, as you can see right now, if you want to change your profile picture or a customized for a picture for this one, well, you have to update your Facebook profile photo. 
Now, once you have deleted your profile Facebook profile photo, this picture that we have right now will be all updated. So what you just need to do here, go to facebook.com or go to your Facebook account and from there, update your profile picture. And once you've updated, what you need to do here is you need to make sure that you actually restart Monopoly Go. So in this case, go ahead and close down a Monopoly Go and reopen it again and from there you just need to open again and your photo picture in Monopoly Go should be updated and that's about it. How to change name in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to open up Monopoly Go. Now in the Monopoly Go section here, typically we could see our name at the top right corner of the screen that is represented by the tree bar icon. So when you click on that, you will see this panel here including your name. But as you can see, there's no section actually indicating where we could actually change our name. So whenever you go to settings here, you won't be able to see a section as well there to change anything about your account. But it's not actually directly, directly showing you how to do that. But the trick here is you just need to click on your profile photo. So when you click on that one, you can, as you can see, this UI will appear on your screen. Now in here, you could change your avatar as well as your name. So as you can see, my name there is Renz. So when you click on the, the icon that is represented by a pencil, so when you click on that, you'll be able to change your name. So in this example, I just want to type in maybe a different name here and just click on submit, click on submit. It's going to ask you, you can change your name three times, are you sure? So make sure whenever you change your name here, you are really sure because you're only given three times to change your name. But yeah, if you're sure, just click on submit. Once you've done that, just click on save. As you can see, we've just updated our name in Monopoly Go. How to get different shields in Monopoly Go. So first thing they wanna do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now, if you want to get different shields in Monopoly Go, so I will be suggesting ways where you could actually receive this one. So in Monopoly Go, there are events happening depending on the current month or the current day that we are uh, at. So in this case, since we're in October or we're going into October, uh, there's an event here that says Mr. M's October Fest. So the rewards for events that like this actually varies. So sometimes they're going to give you shields. So make sure that if there are events right now, make sure that you do those events and probably you'll be able to receive new shields for your account. Now, another way for you to get different shields is via the quick wins section. So when you click on the wins at the lower left of your screen, which is by the way, you will receive quick wins when you reach 35 at the top left here. So if you reach 35 there, you'll be able to unlock quick wins. In here, you just need to do the missions and uh, probably sometimes they're going to have shields that you could use in here. So you'll be able to earn it for free. So just do these missions here and you'll probably get a shield. So that depends on the current rewards. But yeah, so those are the ways to get different shields on Monopoly Go. And that's about it. You have to change shields in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now under Monopoly Go, you will have this UI here. Sometimes going to be confusing, especially if you're if you have your network at higher, higher values like 100 plus. But what you need to do here is just click on the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen, and from here you will see the section that says My Showroom. Now, whenever you click on that, you will be redirected to the last page that we went to. So for example, if you went to tokens, you'll be redirected to tokens. But as you can see at the bottom section, just above the X icon there, you see a shield icon. So make sure that you click on it. And from here, you should be able to see all of the shields that you have on your account. So if you have other shields here, as you can see, collect new shields to fill this shield plate. So in here, if you have a shield that you could use, you could just basically select that shield and you'll be able to use that. 
So this one is pretty simple. If you have a shield, you'll be able to press that and use that specific shield. Now, if you're wondering if there's a quicker way to access that, well, as you can see, there's a shield icon or multiple shield icons that you see at the top, right? So if you click on that, you'll be redirected to the shields section without going through the other panels or other sections in Monopoly Go. How to change your token in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. So in here, this is the usual UI that we see on Monopoly Go. So we have the events and other stuff here. So how do we actually change our token? So click on the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, you see these options here. So we, don't, we just need to ignore all of those. Just go to the My Showroom section. And whenever you click on that, you will be redirected to this UI here. As you can see, these are the all tokens that you have are available right now. So as you increase your network, you'll be able to unlock tokens. So if you're in lower levels, you won't have the option to change them. But as you progress, you'll be able to unlock those tokens. Now, in this case, if you want to change your token, you'll be able to see them in this shelf here under tokens. As you can see, I only have the top hat, but you have if you have other tokens in your account, you just need to select that specific token and you'll be able to equip that specific token. As you can see the section here, it says equip. So if the token is not yet equipped on your account, just click on the equip button that you see at the bottom section of the screen and you'll be able to equip that. And that's about it. How to check Monopoly Go Dice Limit. So first thing that we want to do here is open up our Monopoly Go game. So go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now from here, how do you check your Monopoly Go Dice Limit? Well, the actual limit that you have on your account is determined by the uh, a number that you see just below the go button there. So currently, I have 1000 rolls, which is my limit right now is going to be 40. So why do I have a thousand dice rolls here while my limit here is 40? Well, the actual uh, way of viewing this is it's not actually a limit. It's more of a energy ref uh, rep uh, replenish so every time you run out of dice rolls here it's going to automatically refill or replenish your dice rolls of the rate of 40 so in this case when i run out of dice rolls here it's going to replenish or give me at least 40 dice rolls so currently that is the max that i'll be getting here but as you progress into the game and get more network so at the top left of your screen that's your network right now so go ahead and click on it and as you can see we'll be able to reach certain milestones so in this case we have the roll regeneration here which unlocks at 400 network so when you reach that certain stage or certain network you'll be able to increase your roll regeneration so i would suggest to increase your network as much as you can so that you'll be able to replenish your rolls much quicker but how do you get rolls in Monopoly Go? So currently I have 40, but I have like 8,000 in my account right now. So how did I get those rolls? Well, this one is pretty simple. So what you need to do is just start playing the game. So playing the game means you're participating in events, tournaments, or even doing the quick wins. Now, first thing that you should be checking here is quick wins. So at the lower left of your screen, you have the wins section there. Just go ahead and click on it. And from here, you have a certain uh, certain missions that you should be doing here. And once you get those certain missions or complete those certain missions, you'll be able to earn some prizes. So it, some of those prizes will be dice. So it depends on the quick win that you'll be completing. So make sure that you do all of those quick wins as well as events. So in this case, we have Spooky Soiree right now. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, there's like certain tiles that you should be landing on for you to basically earn points so that you'll be able to participate in the game. So when we click on it, currently the big reward is 7,000 dice here. So which means if you do the game properly, you'll be able to earn up to 7,000 dice rolls. 
meaning those I rolls will not be limited to just 40 it's going to be automatically added into your account until you basically exhaust your dice rolls but yeah so one more thing that you should be checking here is the other events that you see at the right section of your screen. So we have this one here, Ghost Chase. So it's going to give you information how to participate. But also there's prizes into it. So make sure you start playing those events as well. Now we also have a daily logins here. So at the top right, we have the tree bar icon. Go ahead and click on it. And we want to go ahead and go to daily treats. Now, daily treats is a great way for you to earn dice. As you can see on day three, I'll be able to earn like 25 dice rolls. Since I already claimed mine, so on day one, I actually receive a dice. So yeah, basically just logging in into the game will be able to, uh, you'll be able to actually earn a dice, which is really great as if you need that extra dice when you want to play. But yeah, so one more thing that you could do here is use the community chest section here because you'll be able to earn a dice. So if you haven't done it, so inviting friends will actually enable you on earning 30 dice. So meaning when you invite someone into the game, you'll be able to earn dice. So if you want to invite someone, you could use the community chest here or at the bottom right of your screen. I see your friends there. And from here, you'll be able to see suggested friends if you want to suggest them. Or you could just manually invite them via the invite link here or via Facebook. So if you want to invite them via invite here, you could use different platforms like Facebook, Telegram, Snapchat, or Instagram if you want to. But yeah, so once you invite someone and they accept, you'll be able to earn 30 dice. And one more thing, you should also be smart on how you use your dice. So at the button here, at the go button, at the bottom center, you have at the top right, the multiplier. So if you have like, let's say 40,000 dice, you'll be able to unlock the 100 multiplier. So I would suggest you be smart on how you use your multiplier. So right now, since I have 1,000 dice rolls here, I'm able to use 50 multiplier. So meaning if, like for example, you go to one tile here, the price or the amount that you get or the price you get will be multiplied by 50, which is really great because you'll be earning more. But I suggest if you're feeling lucky, use the multiplier. But if not, you stop using it. So it depends on your mood or just be strategic about it. So see how things go, maybe change the multipliers by clicking on it, changing it up whenever you want, and yeah, how to complete milestone in Monopoly Go. So first thing we want to do here is you want to open up Monopoly Go here, and in the main home screen or in our board here in Monopoly Go, you should be able to see different stickers or pop up here. So in this case, these are the tournaments or events currently in Monopoly Go. So in this case, we have this satellite icon here. So when we click on that, you will see the name of that specific event. So this one is for space repairs. So events varies uh, to month, uh, from month to month. So it going to, it's going to be uh, different for every month. But for now, this is the event that we are doing right now. So how do you actually unlock milestones or complete milestones here so as you can see at the bottom side of your screen you have the option here that says land on these tiles so what you need to do here is just basically play the game and hopefully you'll be able to land in one of these tiles here so in this case these are the train tiles so you either need a shutdown or a bank highs for you to receive a uh, satellite icon here and that satellite icon will be used to unlock a milestone or complete a milestone here in this specific event now in this case for a shutdown it's gonna be a plus two for a block and a plus four for success now if you're doing bank highs this is gonna be four plus four for a small large plus six and a bankrupt is a plus eight which is really really big if you're going to ask me also if you want to earn more bigger rewards for your game here you could roll with a multiplier so when you exit your game here as you can see at the top right of the go button there there's the multiplier so when you click on it you'll be able to increase your multiplier so right now with my account and level right now i could even increase this to times 50 which is really really awesome 
how to earn stars in Monopoly Go. So you might be wondering how do you earn stars in Monopoly Go? Now typically in our Monopoly game here, as you can see, I'm already locked in. We usually go to our album here to view our stickers. Now when we once we click on the vault icon, which we see at the bottom right of your screen, you should see this UI here, which in this case, you have the number of stickers that you have there. You might be wondering, why do you have stars here? How do you earn them? Because as you can see, when we actually go to the different vaults here, they actually give you different rewards depending on on the amount of stars that you have right now on your account. Now, currently for the first year, they, they will be giving you 100 to 145 dices and a minimum 3-star sticker or a 3-star uh, card here for your album. Now, as you progress here, as you can see, this actually unlocks at 400. Uh, you should be able to earn up to five 300 dices and a minimum of 4-star stickers. Now, for the last one here is we have the minimum of 5-stars uh, four stars and this new card set here as well as a 400 to 550 number of dices now in this case how do we earn those stars well the direct answer to that is you can earn stars here by gaining duplicate stickers now meaning depending on the number of duplicate stickers that you have in your account you'll be able to earn that much of stars now in this case how do you earn duplicate cards well, it's actually pretty straightforward, so I would suggest you to just play the game. Now, you could just go ahead and just start playing the game here. And typically, you would, uh, some in some cases, would actually earn some of uh, points on the events. As you can see right now, there's an ongoing event on this game as of this moment, which is last loops. So once we click on it, you should be able to see different rewards. As you can see, the main reward here is going to be a 5-star sticker set. So in this case, sometimes they would give you uh, different uh, prices depending on your milestone. So currently, my next milestone here is going to be 125 dices. So the next milestone might be a, a sticker set. So you might want to start just playing the game and earn as much points in the event as well. But in this case, the event, playing events is not the only way for you to start earning stickers. Well, you could also do the quick wins, which is located at the bottom left of your screen. Now, in this case, in Quick Wins, these are going to be your daily quests. As you can see, I was able to earn more $88 here or um, some uh, cash on it. Now, in this case, at the very bottom, as you can see, we have the progression on it. So, first, you'll earn like a cash. Now, second, you'll earn this uh, card set here, which is two star here, a minimum of two stars for three uh, cards. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just start playing the game, earn those sets. And once you earn those card sets, hopefully, you'll get duplicates. So, uh, you'll get more duplicates as long as you start playing the game and get more cards. So, the more cards you have on your account, the more likely that you'll get more duplicates and gaining more stars into your account. So, yeah. So, those are the current ways for us to earn stars in Monopoly Go. And that's about it. How to send stars in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now in Monopoly Go, this is the first UI you should see whenever you open this up. So when we go to the bottom section of your screen, that's where the win, build, album, and friend section. So we want to go to album section here. So in this case, we have different sets that we want to visit. So in this case, we want to go ahead and go to String of Fate. So under String of Fate, we have cards here, which is actually has stars on them. So if you want to send this cards that has stars on them, in them, what you need to do is you first have to have a duplicate of that card. So in this case, if you're looking, if you have a duplicate of the card, as you can see in here, I have the card for true love and I have a plus one on that. So it means I have a one extra card for that specific card. Now, if you want to send it, just click on the true love option there or the card that you want to send. And from here, just click on the send to friend option. And from here, you just need to select the friend that you want to send the card or star on their account. And from there, just click on select and you'll be able to send stars on Monopoly Go. How to exchange Monopoly Go stickers. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go and log in into our account. 
Now, if you want to exchange your Monopoly stickers, you could go ahead and go to the album section that you see at the bottom center of your screen. Now from here, if you have duplicate stickers on your account, it will automatically be converted into stars. So when you click on the vote or box icon that you see at the bottom right corner or bottom right of your screen, just click on it. And from here, as you can see, we have two stars, meaning we have two duplicate stickers. Now, once we receive or get a hundred stars we'll be able to exchange this to rewards on monopoly go so when we click on the vault here as you can see i'll be getting around 15 to 29 dice and as well as a pack which is a minimum of three stars but yeah just need to collect those duplicate stickers and you'll be able to get this reward how to get emojis in monopoly go so first things first is we need to know where our emojis is located at. So typically it's going to be located at our showroom. So at the top right of the screen, click on the tree bar icon or the hamburger icon. And from here, we want to go ahead and go to my showroom. Now under my showroom, you want to click on the smiley face emoticon or the button there. So go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you should be able to see all of the emojis that is currently available in your account. Now, since emojis is actually fairly new, you won't, you won't see much on it, especially if you're a new player here. But in this case, if you like for someone to use this one, typically when you get a shutdown or even a bank heist, you'll be able to start using those emojis. Now, at the top left, you should see an eye icon. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, it's going to give us more information about emojis. So typically, you can get emojis from events. So depending on what time you participate on an event or what, uh, what position you got on a specific event or how you completed that event, you might get some emojis. Now, in this case, we want to go back in here. So as you can see, uh, this is our main UI on Monopoly Go. So at the top of your screen here, we have our main event, which is the Twinkle Tree as of this moment. So if you click on it, you should be able to see different rewards on it. So typically, it's going to show you what you can earn on it. Like as you can see, for this event, you can earn this token here if you've successfully uh, gotten far enough on the event itself. So they would actually announce it and indicate if a sticker is one of the rewards that is available on this event. So in this case, we also have this other event here as well, which is Jingle Jam. So I would suggest you to check all of the available events that is on your screen and see if you could go ahead and participate and if there are any rewards regarding emojis on it. Now they don't come on the come with events always so typically you just need to check your account as much as you can and play monobligo as much as you can to increase your chances on getting those emojis how to use emojis in monopoly go so in this case the new feature on monopoly go has been released which is emojis so you might be wondering how do you actually get them and how do you actually use them so typically your emojis is located in your showroom so at the top right of your screen click Click on the tree bar icon and from here you want to go to my showroom now under my showroom if you go to the smiley face icon or button at the very bottom here you should be able to see all of the emojis that you have right now now typically you receive emojis when you participate in events and and some uh, par uh, participation on a certain task so in this case, typically, you should be able to see different events here and even partner partnership uh, events here as well. So if you join those, you have the chance of earning emojis. Now, how do you actually use them? Well, this one is actually pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So depending on what you are playing right now, like for example, you landed on a bank heist or landed in a shutdown, you'll be able to use those emojis. So in this case, I just want to go ahead and just roll until we get into a bank heist or a shutdown. So let's just roll for it. And as we can all see, we have landed on a shutdown. Now in this case, you want to go ahead and just attack any of the board here. And once you've done that, typically, as you can see at the bottom left of your screen, you should see the smiling a face icon there as well so if you click on it you'll be able to choose an emoji here like for example i want to use this one and uh, from here just click on collect so emojis is a great way for you to show your opponents or your friends what you're feeling right now so in this case if i just want to say hi i attack you well it's a great way to express that 
Now, from here on, whatever you've landed on, like for example, uh, uh, bank highs or shutdown, you'll be able to use or start using those emojis. So yeah, so that's about it. How to get stickers in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. So I'll be showing you ways on how to get stickers that I know right now. So the easiest way for you to get stickers is via the buy section. So as you can see, there's a pack that you see at the upper left of my screen there. If you click on that one, you'll be rejected to this specific page here. As you can see, there's a specific price wherein you could actually buy stickers. So there's a pack there that is included in this price. So if you want to get the easiest way of getting stickers, you go ahead and buy it here. Now, if you don't want that and just want to get the free ones, well, it's actually pretty easy. So basically what you need to do here is just start playing the game. So in here, as you can see, we have two sections. We have the Mr. M's October Fest. So there are actually events within Monopoly Go. So if there are current events you want to join that so in this case we have the harmonica there so you want to actually learn to those styles that has the harmonica icon it and from there once you read like uh, reach for a, like any specific a uh, number of tokens or icons that you landed on you'll be able to receive specific gifts from that event so let's just click on mr m oktoberfest here and as you can see, this is the prize for the current event right now. So before, there's actually a first uh, event here. Like I only need like 20 of this icons here and I actually receive a pack that I just recently opened. So right now, with the next step, that is actually 80 stickers or sorry, 80 icons there. That is harmonica. So I'm going to receive around 125 dice. But yeah, so if you see like the icon changes here, like for example, you reach or reach 80 just you know you just need to watch out if the prices actually changes now another way for you to get stickers is via the wins section so when you click on the lower left of your screen so when you click on that one the section for quick wins will actually open up as you can see the section below you see the earn check to fill the bar and and get the weekly prize so as you can see the final prize there is a pack which you could actually earn for free so in this case you just need to follow the uh, challenges here so once you've achieved all the challenges here as you can see i already uh, did all the three challenges here just click on tap to claim and as you can see i earn a cash here so once you reach a specific milestone you'll be able to claim the uh, pack here so just do the quick wins here and you'll be able to get the pack now another way for you to get stickers is when you click on the tree bar icon at the top right and here we have a section for shop so when you click on shop you'll see a section here at the top sometimes they're going to give you free gifts so if you see a free gift here make sure that you select this one as you can see this one is a free gift i recently received like a pack here that i open up and that contains stickers so make sure that you revisit it like for example there's only seven hours or around more less than eight hours that i need to wait before i could get my next gift so that is one of the ways to get stickers on monopoly go so another way is via the daily treats section here in your profile so when you click on daily treats as you can see on day four you'll be able to get a pack there and on day one i actually receive a pack as well but yeah, so you just need to play the game, check all of the offers that they have right now, get the challenges as well as the quick wins here, and you'll be able to get stickers on Monopoly Go. And that's about it. How to trade stickers in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up Monopoly Go. And from here, we need to open up our album. Now in this case, at the bottom right here, you should be able to see your album. Go ahead and choose that. And from here, we want to open up the album that we want to basically trade stickers on. Now in this case, we have the iron section here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And usually on your albums, you should be able to see different stickers here. But sometimes the stickers itself has the plus one. So if you 
have an excess number of that specific ticker, you could go ahead and click on it and you should be able to see or access the following section here that says send to a friend. Now, just to give an idea, if you don't have the plus one or the plus section there, you won't have the option that says send a friend because you can only send a card to a friend if you have an excess of that specific card or sticker. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, choose the send to a friend option. Now, from here, what we need to do is just choose the friend that you want to send this to. Like, for example, we want to send this to the following option or uh, friend here and just click on continue. Now, also, if you want to make an exchange for that specific card, in this case, they need to give you a card for you to basically give them this card. But if you just want to give them this card, you could go ahead and just click on continue. But for just to give you an idea, I just want to choose to make a change here. Here, click on continue and from here it's going to say exchange this sticker with the following user so the following user has 24 hours to offer you a sticker in return now it also there are going to be daily stickers that you could send here so currently there's a maximum of five now in this case if you really want to proceed just click on the option that says exchange and from then it's going to say exchange proposal sent and just hit on OK. So whenever they actually accept your proposal and basically give you a sticker back, they, they will be able to receive this specific sticker here into their account. How to trade cards in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is you want to open up Monopoly Go. Now in here in Monopoly Go, you should see this board that you already have. So how do we trade cards in Monopoly Go? So this one is pretty simple. So first thing, we first have to view our cards. So let's go to the album section, which is located at the bottom right of your screen. Now from here, choose the type of cards or set. So we have Adventures of Floor, the Agronauts. So let's just choose the first one, which is Adventures of Floor. Now in this case, if you have an extra of that specific card, you'll see a plus one there. As you can see, almost there, I have an extra card of that. Now if you want to send this card to a specific friend, you could go ahead and click on that card and you'll see the option that says send to friend. So if you want to send that, just click on send to friend. And from here, you'll be able to select a friend where you want to send this specific card. Now from there, just select them and you'll be able to send that card. Now if you want to request for a card, well you could do it via the Facebook group for Monopoly Go. So in this case, if you have a section that is not filled up, so just click on that card. It is the God. So it's going to say, the bottom there is going to say ask the group. So just click on ask the group and choose Facebook here. And from here you could join this group and you'll be able to ask different players for that specific card for your account. And that's about it. How to receive cards in Monopoly Go. So how do you receive cards in Monopoly Go? So this is going to be kind of tricky, but there is a way for, uh, for us to receive cards in Monopoly Go. So one of the ways for you to receive cards in Monopoly Go is to just start playing the game. Now, usually there's going to be events in Monopoly Go. So at the very top here, you should see the event here. So depending on the current price or the next price that you'll receive, you might get a, a card set or a sticker set. So in this case is going to be a pack that you can open and you will receive cards from those packs. Now, alternatively, if uh, you aren't able to get much points in your event here, you could alternatively uh, do your daily task. Now, at the bottom left of your screen, you should see the win section there. So usually, th uh, the quick wins here would actually give you an option to earn uh, some way or like for example, they will offer you cash or um, a card set or a pack, which in this case, you could open and get cards or receive cards from. Now, in this case, uh, as you can see, as you progress on uh, to the uh, Quick Queen section here, you should be able to earn uh, those packs. But in this case, what are the other ways for you to receive cards? Well, if you have friends in Monopoly Go, you could actually uh, send them cards. But in this case, they first have to send or they should have a duplicate card of that for them to actually send it to you. Now, I'll be demonstrating to you how to send cards. So in this case, if uh, some, if you're requesting someone to uh, send you a card, you just need to directly uh, message them like, hey, I need, I need this card. Do you have a duplicate on it? This is what they need to do. So that sender should do this. 
Now, what we need to do is we need to go to our album, go to a specific album here, and from here, we need to open up a card here that has the plus one. Now, in this case, we just need to click on it, and you should see the option there that's send to friend. Now, in this case, just click on send to friend here, and in this case, if they are your friend, you they should be able to see you in this section here. Like, for example, I want to send this to a friend here. Let's just choose this one. And from here, you also have the option to uh, basically choose if you want to make an exchange. Like, for example, uh, uh, if you want to make a trade day, for example, you want to give this specific sticker exchange for that sticker, you could go ahead and enable this option here. But if you just want to send them this sticker, just click on their name and just hit on continue and confirm that you want to send that sticker to a friend. Now, in this case, that's what your friend needs to do for you to receive that heart. But just in case, like for example, you don't have anyone to trade with and you want to still receive that card and hopefully someone would actually be nice enough to send that to you. Well, what you need to do is you just need to click on that card that you don't have yet and just click on the Facebook group here. And that should be able to open a Facebook here, which in this case, you should be able to uh, join the Monopoly Go Facebook group, which in this case, you'll be able to request and post a link for you to uh, basically uh, request for uh, receiving that specific card. But in this case, there's going to be some rules into their Facebook group. So go read into, into that and just click on submit. And from here, once you've joined, you could go ahead and just request them that specific card. So that's uh, the ways for you to uh, receive cards in Monopoly Go. So by requesting, by trading, and by just playing the game. And that's about it. How to make Monopoly Go dice links. So first thing we need to do here is we need to open up our Monopoly Go application. Now from here, typically we just uh, first want to uh, discuss what are dice links or how do we actually share dices to our friends in Monopoly Go. Well, typically when you actually invite friends into Monopoly Go and they accept that, they will actually get rewards on it so they would receive dices on it. Now, in this case, if you want to know your uh, uh, friend code or your share link code, in this case, that would actually give them dices as well. So in this case, those are kind of the dice things that you're looking for. Now from here, we want to go ahead and go to friends and family located at the bottom right here. And from here, what we need to do is just click on the option that says invite. Now, as you can see in the invite section, you are able to invite friends. And once you reach the 10 max here, you will be able to receive the uh, main gift here, which is around 150, uh, 150 dices as well as a, a token. So in this case, if you reach or you've invited people 10 times or 10 people actually uh, accepted their invite, you'll be able to receive this final gift here, which is a token and 150 dices. Now, in this case, if you want to know the link itself, you could go and click on invite here. And from here, you want to choose the appropriate option. So I would suggest you try using the notepad here. So by default, no, uh, most phones has notes there. Go ahead and click on it and it's going to open up your notes. And as you can see, that is your link. So whenever you share that link to other people, they will be able to basically open up and download Monopoly Go and they would actually accept your invite. So meaning that they will be, uh, you'll be receiving those uh, prizes or those rewards for that specific invite. How to donate dice in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to open up Monopoly Go and log in into our account. So as you can see right now, we are redirected to our board. So before we start, we have to discuss first, can you actually donate dices in Monopoly Go? So as you can see in my account right now, I have a thousand dices here. So 1,088 dices that I have in my account. So it is too much for me. What if I want to donate this to my friends? Well, the short and direct answer to that question is you cannot donate your dices and monopoly go so this one is kind of unfortunate because if you have like thousands of dices so in monopoly go you could have up to 10k dices so this one is really cool but you won't be able to donate those dices so there is an indirect way for us to kind of donate dices but this one is an indirect way so how do we donate our dices the indirect way 
So the best way and the this way is actually to the use of the community chest that we have on our board. So as you can see in this board, we have that blue chest there at the top corner of your board. So this one is actually called a community chest. So it means that you'll be able to earn rewards with your friends. So in this chest, you need to invite at least f five friends for you to start playing the mini game. So once you invited five friends into the community chest or in this mini game, you'll be able to unlock the mini game. And once you've unlocked this one, your friends will gain 10 dices. So as you can see right now, I already opened my community chest here. So it opens uh, up, up to multiple times in one day. So it opens every 15 minutes, which is really, really cool. Now, in here, you need to invite at least five people. So you can invite them via a link or via Facebook. So, yeah, so this is the indirect way and the only way for us to donate dice and Monopoly Go. How to send dice and Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go, our game here. Now, first thing that we have to discuss is if it's actually possible for us to send dice and Monopoly Go to our friends. Well, the short and direct answer to that is we are not able or this feature is not yet available in Monopoly Go. So directly sending dices on Monopoly Go is not possible, but we could do this in the indirect way. So the indirect way for us to do this is via the community chest. As you can see here at the top right of our board, you see a chess here. So just click on that specific chess and from here just click on add friends. Now from here you just need to invite your friends and once five friends accepted your invite either via a link or via Facebook, you'll be able to open this community chest and from there once you open this one, your friends will receive 10 dice to their account. So this is the, the indirect way and unfortunately the direct way is not yet existing in Monopoly Go. So you could just wait for Monopoly Go to add this feature in the later updates. But for now, this is the best thing that we could do right now. How to fix it, cap, dice, and Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. And from here, you should be able to see the usual UI on your port. So as you can see right now, your dices or your rows is actually max or cap to 40. But as you can see in my account here, I have around 300 rules in my account. So how do you actually achieve this one? Well, this one is actually pretty easy. So what I basically did here I, is I just played the game. So I'll be giving you tips on how to get more dice so that you'll be able to play more in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we could do here is to just basically start inviting your friends. So at the bottom right of your screen, you should see these friends section there. And from here, you have the invite button. Now from here, as you can see, whenever you invite someone to Monopoly Go, you will be able to earn dices in your account. So go ahead and invite your friends and whenever they accept that, you'll be able to earn dices into your account. So that's the first thing that you could do here to earn dices. Now, the next thing that you could do here to increase your dice, like I have right now, it's around 300. Like before I was playing repeatedly, I was around 120. Then suddenly I got to 300. So in this case, you could just go ahead and go to the win section at the bottom left of your screen. And from here, as you can see, we have a quick wins. So in this case, sometimes quick wins will actually reward you dices. As you can see there, there's a dice icon there. So whenever you reach that specific point, you'll be able you'll be able to earn dices. As well as the missions here, you'll be able to earn dices depending on the mission itself. But yeah. You just need to start playing the game, completing these missions. And once you've done that, you could go to other section as well here. So that that, that actually give free rewards. So when you click on the tree bar icon at the top right, in here, we want to go to daily treats. Now in here, in daily treats, you'll be able to earn dices. As you can see on day three, you'll be able to earn 25 dices as well on day five, day six, and day seven as well. So make sure that you visit this page here so that you'll get your free dices. 
Now, another thing that you could do to earn dices in Monopoly Go is to go to your networks. So, networks is located at the top left, which is your net worth. And from here, you'll be able to earn dices whenever you actually upgrade your network. So, just keep on playing and you'll be able to earn dices and rewards. But yeah, so that's the uh, gist or the only thing that I did here. So make sure whenever you did something, if you see a red mark or a red notification on one, one of those items, make sure that you visit that immediately and claim your rewards immediately. How to buy property on Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is open up Monopoly Go. Let's go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now from here, you'll be rejected to your main board. So how do you actually buy properties here? Well, the best and easiest way for us to buy properties here is via the build section that you see at the bottom of your screen. Now from here, what you need to do, go to the bottom section here that says build, just click on it. And from here, you will see all of the structures that you have. So in this case, since some of my friends or some random people actually attacked this one, I'm just going to go ahead and fix my properties. Now for you to start or buy properties here, what you need to do is just click on those properties. So in this case, I have this house here or kind of a castle. Just click on the first one here. So the cost of that structure being built is it's just below it so as you can see it's around 136k so if you have that much you'll be able to build or improve that property now from here you could go ahead and just build all of these properties here until you finish all of this one so once you complete all of this one you'll be redirected to the next board which is an upgrade wherein you could build additional properties and that's about it how to send partner gifts on monopoly go so first thing, let's go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now from here, if you actually reach board 5, you will be able to access the partner events in Monopoly Go. So as you can see, I have this section here at the center of my board. Since I already have my friends already added here, I also have a section here where I could actually invite my friends as a partner. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up a section or a toy here for this event so let's go ahead and open that up and from here what we need to do is just simply spin the wheel on this mini game here so you see you could also change the times for that specific so wheel so in this case let's just choose times two here and from here just press on the center button here to spin and whenever you get the option or the price here that says partner, then from there, you'll be able to send gifts to your partner. And that's it. So this one is pretty simple. Just need to make sure that you roll this to the section that has the partner in it. So if you want to earn more puzzle pieces here for the event or the current event, you could just need to play the game. You'll be able to earn more puzzles and in turn, you'll be able to spin more here. How to target someone and Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is open up Monopoly Go. Now here in Monopoly Go, we have this board here that we see on our default view. So how do we target someone in Monopoly Go? So first thing that we have to ensure here is that we actually land in one of the train tiles here that you see on your board. So we need to trigger a shutdown first. So let's go ahead and just roll here and trigger a shutdown. And as you can see right now, we just triggered a shutdown. So how do we target our friends? So in the shutdown UI here, what we need to do is we first have to look for the switch opponent button. So that button is actually located at the bottom side of your screen. So go ahead and click on switch opponent. And from here, you'll see an option for revenge as well as for friends. So in the revenge tab, these are the people that actually attack your board. So if you want to go ahead and make a revenge, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to annoy your friends or just basically attack them, go ahead and go to the friend section here. And from here, you could choose a friend that you want to attack. So in this case, let's just choose one of, of our friends here and just click on go. And from here, we are able to switch to that friend's board and choose the location or the building that you want to attack or target. 
and that's about it how to attack your friends in monopoly go so first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up monopoly go and from here what we need to do is we first have to see our board so if you want to attack your friends where what you need to do here is you have to land on one of these tiles here that has a trend train icon on it so whenever you actually land on this one it's going to start an attack so let's just roll until we get that specific tile now as you can see right now we've just landed on one of those tiles so if you want to attack a friend so just click on the switch opponent that you see at the bottom center of your screen and from here you could either choose to revenge or choose your friends so go let's go to friends and go ahead and go to this specific uh, friend here so just click on go and it's going to load up their world here and choose where you want to attack now from there you just attack a friend how to switch opponent and monopoly go the first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up a monopoly go so in here we'll be able to see our board and monopoly go so it's simply when we start playing whenever we land in one of those tiles here that is represented by a train you'll be able to either do a bank heist or a shutdown so for us to switch our opponents we'll have to basically land with one of the tiles here so let's just quickly play a game and land one of the tiles as you can see we landed in one of those tiles so how do we change our opponent so in this section before you start playing your game look at the very bottom of your screen and you'll see a button there that says switch opponent so just click on that one and from here you have two options so you could either go to the revenge revenge page here or to your friends page so if you want to play against your friends just click on the friend section here and just click on the go button that you see at the next to the name of that specific friend but if you want to go to revenge same thing just click on the go play section here it's going to basically attack that specific person now in this case just click on where you attack and you'll be able to switch opponents and monopoly go how to always win a tournament and monopoly go so first things first the secret sauce to success in monopoly go is patience we'll show you how to make it work for you so here's where it gets interesting instead of rushing into tournaments consider waiting until the final 10 minutes or so to join this significantly increases your chances of securing higher positions so if you're not aware yet the way for you to join your tournaments is via landing details that you see that in your board here so in this case we have this specific token here so whenever you land on that specific tile you'll be able to earn tokens or t uh, or tickets that you could use for the tournament but how do you avoid entering tournaments early simple take a break from monopoly go for at least 24 hours this ensures you won't land on a railroad or the specified token here which is your ticket into this tournament now let's talk dice dies are your lifeline in this game so stack up on them compete on other challenges winning dices in the name of the game so you could earn dices via the challenges here like for example quick wins here you'll be able to earn some dices on some of the challenges here so just basically completing other challenges here instead of, of focusing on entering the tournament now here's a pro tip prioritize accumulating dice over active actively joining tournaments winning dice can be done through various challenges so board upgrades are your best friend they protect your building from getting shot down that means fewer repairs and more shields so if you have the resources like for example in your buildings here if you have your shields and basically your buildings are, are not being destroyed and you just keep on upgrading your boards then you will have the advantage of not basically repairing your boards here because sometimes player would or to actually attack your board so make sure that you prioritize on upgrading your board as much as possible even if you're not actively playing remember to log in daily collect your daily rewards and maintain your progress so sometimes with daily rewards you will earn dices here so make sure that you actually log in every day now when the tournaments end approaches set a reminder to for 
10 to 15 minutes before it's over. Then use the highest possible multiplier you have to accumulate maximum points. So make sure that you change your multiplier here just above the go button here. So right now I have this set at times 50. So whatever it is the highest that you have on your account now, make sure that you max it up and start playing the game. But don't go overboard with your dice rolls. High multipliers can deplete your dice stock fast, lower the multiplier after hitting a railroad or hitting that specific tile to save up on your dice. Also, expect some competition. Other players might use or be using the same technique, so don't always expect a first place finish. The beauty of this strategy is it is repeatable. Keep using the technique to win more dices and more rewards. Your rewards might not arrive instantly after the tournament ends, so close and reopen the Monopoly Go app to claim your prizes. And there's a bonus. Winning tournaments can also get you rare tickets, sticker packs, helping you compete or complete sticker sets and earn more rewards. With everything you earn, you can swiftly move on to the next board and restart the process, maximizing what you get out of the game for free. And that's about it. How to know your level in Monopoly Go. The first thing that we have to do here is open up our Monopoly Go mobile application. Now from here, how do we actually view our level in Monopoly Go? So in Monopoly Go, boards serves as a place to spend money you earn while progressing around the game. So each board consists of five attractions with a common team. By upgrading these attractions, you increase their network and receive rewards at specific network levels. So money you earn is invested in these attractions and you continue to build them up. Now, in this case, when you level up a attraction here or a, sp a very specific uh, land that you have right now, so at the top left, you have your network. So this is, this is not necessarily a level, but is called network. So when you click on it, you'll be able to see your current network, which currently mine is 138. But when I reach a certain network, I'll be able to basically unlock some of the uh, abilities here. Like for example, previously the shield uh, level or milestone here is uh, I, won't, I was not able to get it but since I have enough network I was able to unlock it as well as for roll capacity and the auto roll function here so in this case this is where you see your network level and as well as the type of uh, features that you'll be able to unlock later on if you reach a certain network now Upgrading an attraction also grants you one house and randomly placed on the board, which increases the rent payment if other players land on it. After accumulating five greenhouses on a property, a hotel is added, and if you obtain hotels on all properties of the same color, they reset to an empty but maintain their value. Now, completing the board results in a substantial prize and you move on to the next board with a new team to develop. So currently, there are 131 boards in Monopoly Go and more may be added over time and you can view the boards on the map with newer boards added above the most recent one. How to grow fast in Monopoly Go, the level up strategy. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now in our screen here, if you're wondering how can we actually level up really fast in Monopoly Go. So what I learned on Monopoly Go is you have to ensure that you actually increase your network value. So what that what does that mean? So as, as you can see at the top left of your screen, we have our network value, meaning we have to make sure that we upgrade our buildings. So go to the build section here at the lower left corner of your screen. And from here, make sure that you improve any of the structures here and increasing your network value. Because if you increase your network value, you'll be able to unlock certain features or even earn some of the um, prices here. So as you can see, we have the roll capacity increase, daily treats, albums, and the auto roll function. 
Now, I would suggest you to just start playing and make sure that you start or make sure you go ahead and increase your network value. So to do that, make sure that you just uh, press and hold on this one. So if you already unlock the auto roll for this one, just make sure you hold on it. It's going to start auto rolling. You'll be able to earn without hazarding your hands here. So maybe you could do other stuff like for example if you're watching YouTube you could just uh, maybe check on your phone and see if there's happening in your screen so sometimes it's going to be a bank heist or some type of mini game here make sure that you play that but yeah once you've uh, done that you just need to make sure once you've have enough funds you upgrade your buildings immediately because if you upgrade your buildings you'll be earning more and turn you'll be able to upgrade really really fast now if you want to get more rolls or cash because cash is needed whenever you are upgrading your buildings here so you could also go to daily treats which is at the top right corner of your screen so let's just wait for this to complete since i have this pin here so also this pin is actually unlock when you go to higher network values so make sure that you upgrade your network value as fast as you can so that you'll be able to unlock these features here because you'll be able to earn dice rolls money and cards as well but yeah so let's go to the top right here tree bar icon and you want to go ahead and go to daily treats now in here if you log in daily you'll be able able to earn prizes here so as you can see on day three i'll be able to uh, earn like 25 dice rolls here but yeah make sure that you check this one and get your prizes as well as when you go to the top right here and go to shop there's also a section here that is for uh, a price here. Make sure that you also claim that. So this is around eight hours, I believe, that uh, you could earn this reward here. But yeah, so that's the quickest way on how to grow fast in Monopoly. So whenever there's an upgrade on your buildings, make sure that you update upgrade that immediately. Do not delay upgrading those so that you'll be able to earn more. And also, they also have a times section here as you can see i have times five but it, it could go actually to times 10 and even times 20 at time so make sure that you max it up so you'll be able to earn more whenever you're playing but yeah so that's about it how to fill up your invite bar on monopoly go so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up monopoly go now under monopoly go usually when we go to the invite friend section which is located at the bottom right of your screen you should be able to see the app friend section now when you go to the invite button here you should be able to see a bar which in this case you need to invite 10 friends for you to receive the rewards so the rewards that you'll be receiving here actually depends on the current season so currently they give out 150 uh, dices here as well as a token that you could actually use for monopoly go now, in this case how do you actually quickly fill out fill up your invite bar here so filling out the invite bar here is actually pretty easy so make sure to just utilize the invite bar here or the invite buttons that you see so if you have your facebook account connected you can go ahead and choose the invite option here and start inviting your friends now in this case you just need to click on send and you should be able to invite them now the only problem here is if they actually uh, receive or if they actually accept the invite which is something really uh, really uh, annoying especially if they don't actually accept your invite now you have alternative ways of actually inviting different people so you actually have the invite button only which in this case you'll be able to choose whatever application that you want to use for you to start inviting them which is something really awesome because sometimes we have friends on different platforms like instagram or maybe you want to share this on other websites so maybe you want to send this uh, via messages or via discord or via any applications that you have now in this case you could go ahead and choose that so for example i'm going to use the chats for instagram here and i'll be able to send this to my friends on instagram which is something really awesome now in this case you might be wondering what are other ways to fill up or to fill up quickly the invite bar here well alternatively once we actually go back into the add friend section you have the option to actually add different people who are not actually your friends and facebook or any other platform so the great thing about uh monopoly go here is it actually enables you to invite people 
that regardless if you're actually friends with them via Facebook. So it's uh, going to give you a chance to add different people on the game itself. As you can see, I only have my account here and still a lot of people are actually inviting them, inviting me. Now in this case, once you actually go to the very bottom of this page here, you should be able to see the section for you to start inviting different people. Now if you want to add them, you can go ahead and click on add here and you'll be able to send the invite to them. Now in this case, you could go ahead and do that and you'll be able to fill out your invite bar here in Monopoly Go. Now in this case, those are the ways for you to fill up your invite bar here really quickly, but that's about it. How to have multiple Monopoly Go accounts. So first thing that we have to know here is what are the requirements for you to have multiple Monopoly Go accounts. So what you need to do here is just basically create another Facebook account. So you need to have two Facebook accounts if you want to have two Monopoly Go account. So you have to have a unique Facebook account for you to start a new Monopoly game. So in this case, how do we actually access the other account? So if you want to access the other account, we first have to clear the data that we have right now on our Monopoly Go. So in this case, uh, make sure that you, the first account that you already have on your Monopoly Go is actually connected to your first Facebook account. Because if you don't have it connected, you'll lose any progression. So logging in or connecting your account is really advisable. So if you don't know yet how to connect your account, just click on the tree bar icon at the top right. And from here, you want to go to settings. And from here, just click on connect account and you'll be able to connect your Facebook account to your current game here on Monopoly Go. Now, again, how do we access our other account? So the first thing is we want to exit Monopoly Go here and look for the Monopoly Go application icon here. So go ahead and press and hold on it. You want to go to app info. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit. And from here, you should look for the clear data option. Now from here, just click on that option. And from here, what you need to do is you need to clear your data. Now, once you've cleared your data here, what you need to do next is just confirm that you want to really confirm this data. So no worries, no worries on this one because you're not actually deleting your account. As long as your account is actually connected to Facebook, you will not lose any progression on your game. So we're only deleting the local files that we have right now on Monopoly Go, basically resetting Monopoly Go to its very, very first state, wherein we could just basically start connecting our set can account and that's about it how to change monopoly go account so first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up monopoly go now under monopoly go this is where the section where we typically play our game but how do we actually change our monopoly go account so typically you when you start playing monopoly go you just want to assess how monopoly go is working so you might be using a guest account in your, your game. So how do you connect your account or change your account? So click on the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, you want to go to settings. Now from here at the very bottom, you'll see a section or button that says connect account. So just click on connect account. And from here, you have multiple ways to connect your account. So you could connect your account via Facebook as well as Google Play. So if you haven't connected your account yet or with your Facebook account, you could go ahead and press on the connect button that you'll see on the Facebook icon there. So since I already connected my account, it's just going to say disconnect. But in here, if you have a fresh account, it's going to say connect on Facebook. And from there, you'll be redirected to Facebook. You need to log in, enter your password. And once you've done all of those things, you'll be able to connect your account or change your account here on Monopoly Go how to find your link on Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. So when you open up Monopoly Go here, you'll be redirected to your port. So how do we find our link in Monopoly Go? So to find our link, we first have to go ahead and choose friends at the bottom right of your screen. And when you click on that, this option will appear on your screen. Now in this section, you'll be able to add friends. Now typically when we want to look for a link or if you want to share your link, we want to go to the add friend section and we also have the option there that says invite. So just click on the invite button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. And from here, you could choose either of the options here. 
Now, if you choose the Facebook invite, you'll be redirected to Messenger. And from there, you could go ahead and start inviting your friends. So the link itself will be redirected or automatically sent to your friend. Now, if in this case, you want to have a physical or you want to have the actual link for your game, well, you have what you have to do here is you need to click on the invite just above Facebook. So that's the first invite there. Just click on it. And from here, you could choose any option here. So in this case, you could choose Discord, Notes, or other of the application here. But what I like to use so that I'll guarantee, uh, so the guarantee link will actually appear on my screen is via the Notes application. So when you click on Notes here, it's going to create this note here. It's going to say play, play Monopoly Go with me and download it. And from there, you see the link. Now from here, what you need to do is just press and hold on that link. And if you want to copy it, just click on Copy. And from there, you should now have your link in Monopoly Go. And that's about it. I have to switch accounts in Monopoly Go. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up Monopoly Go and access our account. Now before we actually switch over to our other account, we first have to discuss how things or how accounts actually work in Monopoly Go. Now typically if you don't or you haven't connected your account to your Facebook account or to your Google Play account, usually if you're playing a guest account, it's going to be a locally safe. Now, meaning if you say locally save, if you actually delete your data on your phone or your when your phone actually gets wiped out or all of data is removed, meaning your account would get lost. So it's actually recommended to connect your Facebook account or your Google Play account into Monopoly Go just to ensure that you will not be losing any data. Now, in this case, if you're going to switch to a different account and you're just using a guest account here, I would recommend you to connect your Google or Facebook account here. Now to do that, just click on the tree bar icon at the top right of your screen and usually you should see the Facebook connect option or button there. So go ahead and just click on it and you should be able to connect your Facebook account. Now alternatively, you could go to the settings section again, click on connect account and you have the additional option to sign in with Google just to make sure that you are saving or basically saving your progression here in Monopoly Go. But in this case, this is just my uh, guest account and we want to switch over over to our other account so how do we do that so for us to do that we need to access exit monopoly go here and look for the icon for monopoly go now in this case we need to press and hold on monopoly go click on app info and from here you need to look for the option that says clear data go ahead and click on it and click on clear all data here now, in this case, we'll be removing all data associated in Monopoly Go. That's why it is recommended to connect your other account to your Facebook account first or your Google account first for you to save your progression. Now, in this case, once you've done that, just click on OK and that should actually wipe Monopoly Go. Now, in this case, once we actually open up Monopoly Go again here, you should be able to see the option or the main UI again for Monopoly Go, which in this case, it would actually welcome you to the welcome page. So in this case, let's just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, we are now back with the Agree session. Now, in this case, let's go and click on Agree here and just click on Play with Friends. And from here, it's going to uh, uh, give you a notification here. Just click on Confirm. And once you've done that, it should actually open up the login page for Facebook. So it should open up a new browser here, like what you're seeing right now on my screen. And it should open up your Facebook account here. So if you haven't logged in, it will prompt you to log in again. But for now, let's just click on continue here since I already logged in. Now, the next page is going to say you previously logged in to Monopoly Go with Facebook. So in this case, we just need to click on continue. And it should actually complete the login process. So let's just wait for it to finish and it should redirect us back into Monopoly Go. So if that doesn't work and signing in via Facebook does not work for you or you've signed in using or you've signed up using your uh, Google account, well, the next thing or the next thing that we could do here is we need to first uh, open up a guess account. So go ahead and open up Monopoly Go here. And from here, we want to choose the option here that says open or uh, play as a guest. Now, in this case, let's just go ahead and hit on I agree. And from here, we want to choose as play as guest and click on play as guest. Now, there's going to be some introductory uh, gameplay here. So in this case, let's just complete that and we should be able to see the login page. 
Now, once you finish the tutorial here, just click on the tree bar icon at the top right of your screen. And from here, go to settings. And from here, click on connect account and choose sign in with Google. And it should actually automatically detect our Google account here. As you can see, I have my account here. Let's just go ahead and choose that and click on OK. And just click on load account. And that should restart Monopoly Go. And we should be able to see our previous account here. In this case, let's just wait for it. And as you can see, this is my account here. And we were able to switch our accounts in Monopoly Go. How does Monopoly Go affiliate program work? So at the bottom right corner of your screen, you need to tap the friends icon here. So you will be presented with several methods to invite your friends to play. First, you can connect your phone's contact list with Monopoly Go's to see exactly who's playing and who's not. So invite any of your friends through your contact list and you will receive 30 free dice rolls for each accepted friend invite you send. Second, you can connect through Facebook and team up with your friends through popular social networking websites. For each friend you invite and they accept, you will receive 25 free rolls per friend. So here at the top right of your screen, you'll see a tree bar icon there. Now, in this case, if you haven't connected your account in Facebook, you could go ahead and go to settings here. And from here, you will be able to connect your account. So just click on connect account. And as you can see, I've already connected my account here on Google Play as well on Facebook. So you could go ahead and connect your Facebook account here. Now, once you've connected your account, we are now ready to invite our friends. So first thing that we want to do here is we first want to go to the friends at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, you will see the option that says invite. So when you click on that one, as you can see, you have the invite link there and the invite on Facebook. So if you click on the invite for Facebook, it's going to give you this UI here. It's going to redirect you to Messenger and from here, you could basically start messaging your friends or sending them their invite for Monopoly Go. Now, if you choose the first option here, which is the invite or first button there that says invite, you will have this UI here. So in this case, you could share this on Instagram chats, on Google Chrome, even on Discord and even on Snapchat. Now, if you want to see your personalized link or the invite link for your Monopoly Go, just go to notes here. And from here, it's going to give you this link here and you could proceed on copying that specific link. Now, unfortunately, we cannot get money or the percentage the friends purchases, but we will be able to earn our prizes here. So as you can see, when you successfully invited someone, you'll earn a dices. Now in here, we also have community, ch community chess here, but I've already completed that. So I was able to invite at least five friends in Monopoly Go. And as you can see, it's going to give me this information here or button here that says open. So when you click on that, it's going to give you different prizes for Monopoly Go. As you can see, this is the community chess and these are the friends that I invited to the game. Now, from here, you could just basically click on start and you'll be able to start earning your prizes in Monopoly Go. Can you make real money in Monopoly Go? First of all, we need to understand that the game is a free-to-play mobile app that uses a virtual currency. You can earn a virtual currency by playing the game and completing challenges and watching ads. However, you cannot exchange this virtual currency for real money. But let's dive in deeper and check what real options we have. So just going back, as you can see, we have dollars here that I use or we use to build our structure. So that's the only use that we have right now for this money here just to build and basically earning more on Monopoly Go. So there's no direct way for us to actually sell or use this currency on our real life. So this is just virtual currency. But there are alternative ways. So I'll be showing you how to do that. Now, first thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead and visit Google. Because Google is going to be your best friend whenever you're finding something. So in this case, we want to search for the following, which is going to say, say how to sell a Monopoly Go account. So in this case, it's going to give you a lot of search results here. So this one is for Carousel, Singapore, 
So if you click or open this one in another tab, as you can see, those will be the options for us to buy something that is from Monopoly Go. So as you can see, they are actually selling cards here. So if you're not aware, there's at like five star cards in Monopoly Go. So if you have those, you could have potential, potentially have, uh, you could sell those if you want to. They also have cheapest four star Monopoly Go cards as well. So if you go, you could, if you want to go ahead and do that as well. So they're actually selling Monopoly Go account as well. So what you need here is like just an email address. You need to create an account, level up that account. And from there, you just need to save that email and password and post it here or somewhere in the internet. So in this case, you could go ahead and use Carousel if you want. And from there, once you posted that, you could go ahead and sell that account once you've leveled, up, leveled it up to a specific level that is actually... A maybe un up until to board five, maybe that would be great. And the price would depend on your uh, liking. So it depends on how much you want to price it. So you could go ahead and go back to Google here. Let's just check all other things that we could do. So we also have another link for Carousel here. So let's just visit this one. And in this case, it's quite the same. They're just selling one play go account, but let's just go ahead and open one here. Now in here, this is new. So got some friends account, which can be removed. So this account actually has already friends in it, which is really cool because you could directly play with some people with the account as well. But yeah, so you could go ahead and just see all of the types or the details that they have here. If you already have an account that you want to sell, or the account you want to sell already, you could go ahead and just copy what they usually put here. So yeah. So another website here, I'll be showing you this one. This is a perfect example. As you can see, it's giving us our Monopoly Go accounts. Uh, we also have a Dices here, which is a really cool because gaining Dices is really hard. You have to wait for it. So maybe they're like they set up some kind of bot wherein you need to add his friends here and you, you'll be able to invite them and you'll be able to earn those Dices. So they price it in this way. But you could go ahead and set up a business like this one, but this going to be kind of... I mean, kind of complicated because you need to set up a bot or somewhat for this one. But yeah, so we also have other sections here. Monopoly Go account. And yeah, we also have another link here, which is from Reddit itself. So they're selling like around 500 dices for $2.5. So again, they might be using some kind of bot for this one. So yeah, so you could go ahead and just visit Google and you'll be you'll be able to see this links here. So some of the processes here is kind of complicated because you'll have to have like some some certain knowledge about IT or development for you to set up those bots. But the easiest way for you to earn through Monopoly Go is just creating a new account and leveling, leveling it up. And from there, once you level up, you could go ahead and post it somewhere, maybe in Carousel or even in Reddit. You could go ahead and do that. And from there, you could price it in whatever way you want. Yes, you can make real money on Monopoly Go, but this is against the rules. And please be careful as you can be banned and lose all your accounts. How to block someone on Monopoly Go. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. Now from here, you'll be redirected to the main interface for Monopoly Go. So in this case, if you want to block someone or kind of block someone on Monopoly Go, first thing you want to do is you want to go to your friends section, which is located at the bottom right off your screen. Now from here, what you need to do is you need to go to your leaderboard. Now under leaderboard, you should see this three option here, which is global, local, and friends. So when you go to the friend section here, if you want to block someone, well, currently there's no direct way for us to block someone on Monopoly Go, but you do have the option to remove them as a friend. So just click on the name of the user that you want to remove as a friend. And from here, you have the option that says remove and just click on it. Now from here, it's going to ask you, are you sure? So if you're really sure, you could just click on the remove function or the remove button here and you'll be able to unfriend them on Monopoly Go. Now, if they try 
adding you again on Monopigo, you can go ahead and go to add friends here. And if you see the request here, just click on the deny option that you see on your screen. Now, unfortunately, this is the only way for us to kind of block someone on Monopoly Go. But for now, this is the best way that we could do this. So at the moment, you could go ahead and just unfriend them on their leaderboard section. And that's about it. How to remove friends on Monopoly Go. First thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up the Monopoly Go game mobile application. Now from here, what you need to do is you need to go to the friends section, which is located at the bottom right of your screen. Now, once you click on that, this UI will appear on your screen. So you have the add friends, timeline, and leaderboard. In the add friends, this is where you usually add your friends. For example, you have the invite, the contact, or you have the request section here as well. So if you want to accept them, you could go ahead. But if you want to remove friends, you need to go to the leaderboard option or tab there. Just click on leaderboard. And from here, you want to ensure that you're actually in the friends section. So you have global, locals, and friends. So make sure that you're in friends. Now from here, what you need to do is press on the friend that you want to unfriend or remove. For example, we have this friend here. Just click on the remove button. And from here, it's going to ask you, are you sure? So if you're really sure, just click on the remove button that you see there and you'll be able to remove them as a friend in Monopoly Go. How to unlink Monopoly Go from Facebook account. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up Monopoly Go. In this case, go ahead and search for Monopoly Go, open it up, and you should be able to see the home screen for Monopoly Go. Now, in this case, we need to access our settings for us to unlink our Monopoly Go account from Facebook. Now, in this case, go ahead and click on the tree bar icon at the top right of your screen. And from here, click on the settings option that you see at the very bottom. Now, from here, click on the connect account option that you see at the bottom section of your screen. That is a color green button. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now, if you want to disconnect your Facebook, look for the button that has the Facebook icon on it, and it should say disconnect. Now, if you really want to disconnect, just click on disconnect here, and from here, just finally confirm by clicking on disconnect. Now, some just uh, information on disconnecting your account here. Make sure that you still have other accounts connected on your Monopoly Go account that you have right now. Now, in this case, if you don't have any account that is connected on your Monopoly Go account, it may it might lead to some disaster you might lose your progress so make sure that you have at least one account connected on your monopoly go account but in this case if you're really sure just click on disconnect button here and confirm and you should be good and that's about it how to disconnect monopoly go from google play so first thing that we want to do here is we want to open up the play games application so let's go ahead and exit monopoly go here and search for our play games app so in here we have the play game so if you don't have the play games app for your mobile phone here you can download it via play store as well but in this case we just recently downloaded play games let's go ahead and open that up now from here, what we need to do is access the settings. So our settings is located at the top right of your screen. So when you click on that, just click on settings. Now from here, let this load up real quickly. And once it loads up, just scroll down a bit until you see the section that says delete play games account and data. Go ahead and click on that. And from here, you have two options. So you have the option to delete the play games account and all data but you also have the option to delete individual game data. Now, if you want to disconnect your Monopoly Go from Google Play, you could go ahead and just click on delete on that specific game, which in this case is going to be Monopoly Go. So once you click on that, you'll be able to disconnect Monopoly Go from your Google Play account. And that's about it. How to fix Monopoly Go error not loading. So there's actually multiple ways on how to fix this one. So the first way that we would suggest you try doing is just basically restarting your device. So sometimes a good restart could actually help you a lot. In this, which in this case, it will actually probably solve the issue for Monopoly Go. So go ahead and press on your power button so that the restart option will be available to you. Now from this case, I just want to choose the reboot option. Now, once you've tried that and open up Monopoly Go and it's still not working, well, I have other things that you could try here. 
So first thing that you could try here is just open up all of the apps. So just click on the tree bar icon that you see at the left side or left bottom side of your screen. And once you click on that, you should be able to see all of the application that is open on your background. So in this case, you want to close all of the application that is not Monopoly Go. And from there, you just need to open up Monopoly Go and see if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, the next thing you want to do here is you have the latest version for Monopoly Go. So go to Google Play Store here, type for Monopoly Go and see if there are any updates on Monopoly Go. So sometimes updates on Monopoly Go will not be automatically installed because and in this case, you want to go ahead and search for it and manually install and up update your Monopoly Go mobile application. Now, once you've done that, you open up Monopoly Go, see if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, the final thing that you could do here is just basically clear the temporary files for Monopoly Go. So go ahead and look for the Monopoly Go icon here, press and hold on it, and you want to go to App Info. Now from here, you want to scroll down until you see the section that says Clear Data. So just click on it. And from here, just click on Clear Cache. And here, just click on OK. And from there, once you've done that, try again, open up Monopoly Go and see if that solves the issue. Now to fix Monopoly Go error occurred requiring the game to restart. So in this case, you might be getting this error here and you're wondering how to fix it. Well, this one is kind of simple, but we'll be showing you the steps on how to do it. Now, the first thing that we need to ensure here is we first have to check if the Monopoly Go servers are up and running. Now, if the servers are encountering any problems or are down, then most likely that is the cause of this problem here. And in this case, we won't be able to do much because the server itself is down and Monopoly Go has to fix it. Now, for us to check if Monopoly Go servers are down, we could go ahead and open up any browser here, go to google.com, type in the following, which is Monopoly Go service status, and go ahead and open up the first link that you'd see there. Now, in this case, it should actually show you the current status of Monopoly Go right now. So currently, it's going to say no problems detected at Monopoly Go, meaning that the servers are currently running and you should be able to access Monopoly Go here and you shouldn't have any problems on it. But just in case, if you see any uh, notification here that says uh, Monopoly Go is encountering any problems or server status or server errors, then most likely you just need to wait for them to fix it. And most likely after that, you should be able to play again. But in some cases, if you see no problems here, then you have to do a few things here. So what we need to do here is we have to ensure that we have the latest updates in Monopoly Go as well as clearing our cache. Now, just to give you a quick explanation, cache is going to be a temporary storage on our mobile device so it doesn't directly affect our account. These are just temporary files that can be replaced anytime and is not that very important. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we first have to clear our cache. Go ahead and locate Monopoly Go, press and hold on it, go to App Info. And under app info, you should be able to see this UI here. Click on clear data. And from here, click clear, clear cache and click on OK. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to Google Play Store here. And under Google Play Store, you need to look for Monopoly Go. So let's just type in Monopoly Go here. And in here, you have to ensure that you have the latest update. So if you see any uh, button here that says update, click that and install the latest update. And from then on, check if that solves your issue in Monopoly Go. And that's about it. How to fix Monopoly Go, invite friends not working. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to try other methods of actually inviting our friends. So go ahead and open up Monopoly Go here and go to the friend section we just located at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, just click on the invite button that you see at the bottom center. Now from here, typically if you have your Facebook account connected, you could choose the uh, Facebook invite here and Messenger will actually pop up. Now if that doesn't work, what you need to do here is just click the first invite that you see there. So it, this means we're going to send this in another method. So Facebook, if Facebook is not working, you could choose the other methods here. It's via Discord. You could even use Chrome if you want to get the specific link for that and choose other methods here. So if you have Instagram, you could go ahead and use Instagram. You have direct message on X as well. But in this case, if none of those work, what we could do here is share this on our notes. So when you click on notes, it's going to automatically create a note here. And from there, you just need to copy the link that you see here and send this manually to your friend. 
Now, if this method doesn't work, well, we have to change a few things on Monopoly Go. So what you need to do here is you need to close Monopoly Go. So let's just go ahead and go to our main home screen. Now, first thing that we want to ensure here is we have the latest version for Monopoly Go. So go ahead and go open up Play Store here, search for Monopoly Go. And if you see any updates on Monopoly Go, make sure that you actually install this one because most of the time, updates are the missing parts that's going to actually fix Monopoly Go. So if you have this updated and you check your game and it's still not working, well, we have another fix that we could try. So in this case, go ahead and locate Monopoly Go. Press and hold on Monopoly Go. And from here, go to App Info. Now under app info, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on the clear data option there. And from here, try clear cash. And from here, just click on OK. Now, once you've done that, you go ahead and open up Monopoly Go again. And from there, see if that solves the issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, you could try the other way, which is the clear all data. But in this case, if you have a guest account only when you're actually playing this game, then I would recommend you to connect your Facebook account first so that you will not be losing any progress. So from here, choose clear all data. But then again, make sure that you have your account connected so that you, you won't be losing any progression. Then from there, once you've cleared all your data, see if that solves your issue and that's about it. How to restart Monopoly Go, how to fix, we are sorry an error has occurred requiring the game to restart. So if you're encountering this issue in Monopoly Go, so this one is kind of tricky because we need to check a few things as well, uh, update our application for Monopoly Go. So again, first thing that we want to do here is we want to ensure that the servers for Monopoly Go is actually up and running. So if servers are actually down, then this problem might exist on your device as well to other users. So if the server is down, you won't be able to play it. So the next best thing that you could do here is just wait for Monopoly Go to update their game or release an update on Google Play Store. So in this case, to check on the current status of Monopoly Go, go to google.com and just search for Monopoly Go server status. And from here, you'll see this different links here. Go ahead and open up any of the links that you see here. So in this case, we have this link here. And from here, it's going to say or give you information on the current status of Monopoly Go. So as you can see, problems detected at Monopoly Go. Currently, Monopoly Go status is down. For my info, view the result below. So here you'll see the current results for Monopoly Go and the current status of the server. So, so as you can see, server connection is at 83.43 right now. So that is the problem that is happening right now on Monopoly Go. So next best thing, if there are any problems on Monopoly Go, we just need to wait for their theme to actually upload a update. So in this case, you want to go ahead and go to Google Play Store search monopoly go and you just need to see if there are if there are actual updates on the game so if you see any updates go ahead and install that and most probably that would actually resolve the issue now in this case since the issue is not on your device this is the next best thing that we could do now there's actually an extra precaution that you could do here as well so before updating your device you could go ahead and locate your Mon monopoly go application here press and hold on monopoly go go to app info and from here just click on clear data and from here make sure that you choose clear cash so what we are doing right now we are actually clearing any of the temporary files that we have right now on monopoly go so when you click on ok you're clearing any of the temporary files and from there you being you are being prepared for the updates for monopoly go increasing your chances on fixing this issue and that's about it how to sign out or log out of monopoly go so first thing that we want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. And from here, what we need to do is we need to locate our settings. So our settings is actually located in the profile section on Monopoly Go. So from here, just click on the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And you want to go to settings. 
Now under settings, you'll have this information and buttons here, but what you need to do is just click on the connect account section there. And when you click on that, you will see this information here. So you have the sign in with Facebook, sign in with Google and play with contacts. Now, if you've already connected your account in Facebook or even in Google Play, so what you need to do here to log out or to sign out is just click on the disconnect button there. And from here, it's going to ask you, are you really sure? So if you're really sure to, that you want to log out, just click on this connect. And from here, as you can see, we've just successfully logged out or signed out from Monopoly Go. And that's about it. To restore lost game progress and Monopoly Go. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up our Monopoly Go. Now, in this case, if you have your account recently in your uh, in your profile here, so whenever you open up Monopoly Go, typically it's going to redirect you into your account. But in some cases, when a Monopoly Go actually spooled up or suddenly you lost access and uh, Monopoly Go actually restarts or basically resets. So in this case, it's going to be kind of frustrating because especially if you're uh, pretty far, Ahead, so if you already have a lot of assets, you progress enough in your board, it's going to be really frustrating for you to be losing those uh, progression. Now, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to basically try try connecting in, uh, into our account. So at the top right of your screen, you should click on the hamburger icon or your cheat bar icon there, and from here you want to go to settings. Now from here, what we need to do is just click on the connect account option here. And from here, just connect your account via any method that is you've previously used. Like for example, if you connect your account using your Facebook account, click on the connect button for Facebook. And from there, you should be able to basically restore your lost game progress. So as long as you have your account or your game progress connected to a specific account, maybe on a Google Play or in Facebook, you won't lose any progression as long as you have it actually connected but in this case if that doesn't work then we'll have to contact support for this one so what we need to do here is we need to go back into settings and from here you need to click on the customer service option now it's going to boot up this page here and what we need to do is select the option that says i lost my game progress click on it and same thing it's going to give you the option to or give you instruct you to actually connect your account to recover your game progress but in this case, since that doesn't work, we want to go to the very bottom here, click on chat with us. And from here, you just need to start the chat with the Scopely support here. Tell them that you need to restore your last game progress here. And if they ask any necessary details, like for example, a screenshot of your last game, your account name, any details that they need regarding your account. So that includes uh, maybe your dice count, or your board progression, any of the friends that you have on your account. So in this case, just provide those details and just be patient and work with them for you to restore your game or your game progress. But yeah, so that's about it. How to get my Monopoly Go account back. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up Monopoly Go. So in this case, the first requirement for us to get your Monopoly Go account is you should have your account connected. So that means your account is connected to either Google Play or via your Facebook account. So if you're using a guest account, then unfortunately, this one will be impossible. So you, ha you need to have an account that is connected in order for you to recover it. Now, how do we recover our account? So first thing, Again, open up Monopoly Go here. It doesn't matter if it's a guest account or another or different account. You could go ahead and open that up. Now from here, click on the tree bar icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, go to settings. Now under settings, click on the customer service option because we'll need the assistance of customer support for us to actually recover our account. So in this case, we have this articles here. So it doesn't matter what, what article you're going to click on this one. But for this example, let's just click on how can I contact customer support. Now from here, we need to scroll down a bit until we see this section that says chat with us. Just click on chat with us and it's going to open up a room wherein you will be able to chat with customer support for Monopoly Go. So you go ahead and just need to explain here that you need assistance on recovering your account. And from there, they're going to assist you on how to get your account back. And that's about it. 
So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.